don't buy this stove from Luxada. If you want to know why I'm saying that, keep watching. So I was looking on the AliExpress website some time ago, and I've been watching this stove that Luxada puts out that is, for all intents and purposes, a, a direct copy of the Little Bug Junior stove. And when I realized it was made in titanium and the price seemed to be reasonable, I thought, I'll give it a try. I'll have a look at it. So I purchased it. Now, like all things coming from out of China, at least here in Canada, it took six weeks, maybe eight weeks before it arrived. And when it did, uh, I was impressed with it. I compared it in terms of what it looked like with the Little Bug Junior, and I thought it looked to be quite impressive. I mean, this is a very, very light stove. 2.2 ounces. There are two other pieces and I'll explain why they're not attached in a minute. 2.2 ounces or 65 grams and a reasonable size. Very simple stove in design and it should be a very good functioning stove because the, the little bug design has been popular for quite some time. But then I tried it out and that's where the trouble began. So what I want to do is just take it apart and show you how it goes together and I'll explain as I do what happened to the stove. Okay, when the stove arrived from China, it came with four pieces. The four pieces you see right here, the two sides, the two pot support pieces, identical to the Little Bug Junior. They were flat when they arrived. They came in a little Ziploc bag that did not come with a stuff sack of any type, but that's fine. I was prepared to make one myself. But they were flat. They weren't curved as they are now. I also expected that, and I expected that once I did heat it, it was going to take a set like it has, so there was no surprises there. So what I want to do is just put it together and show you how it's supposed to go together and how it's supposed to work. I say supposed to because I'll describe the problem that I encountered when I do. So you take each one of these pot stands and they do have two positions. One like this, which would be called the high position. And theoretically, if you turn it over, it drops it lower into the stove and then you can use it with an alcohol stove. The heights aren't good for that anyway, but in theory, it should work better that way. I'll set it up the way I did my first time using it. So you take each of these pot stands, they have tabs on either end and they match up with notches on each of the panels like this. And because of the spring nature, they are going to hold in place. Then you take the two panels with those pot stands already pre-attached. I'm a little nervous this is going to fall apart on me because of, well, I'll explain that in a minute as well. And you'll notice that there are notches on one of the two panels on either side of it. They fold in and there are rivets that are protruding through the panels that match up with holes. I can give you some close-ups in a second if you're more interested in that. Well, I will give it to you anyway. And there's a rivet on the top with the pot stand meets together to hold it in place. So when I picked it up and I assembled it like this, I thought, you know, that's actually pretty cool. That's it's There's no bottom to it. So of course, when you're using it, you would have to use uh, and make sure it's on a fire safe base, but the weight, I mean, 2.2 ounces, you know, that's, that's, that's simply amazing. But I could tell that the titanium was very, very thin, very light. And I was a little nervous of it, but oh boy, well, I took it into my backyard. I set it on a brick, a, a construction brick that I have for doing a little test lawn. I started to build a small fire on the construction brick, just a little, a little bit of a fire starter and a little bit of pine twigs. It was a pre-starter fire is what I mean. And what I would do is start the fire, place this on top, and then I could feed sticks in through before putting my pot on for the fire. So what I did is I set, started that little fire, put this down. The pot that I was going to test it with might as well be my titanium pot. So it's my, my uh, Tom Shoe Titanium, what is this thing? I think 1100 milliliter pot. And uh, the fire hadn't really even started getting going. So it didn't really, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of wood in it. I didn't have a whole lot of heat generated. It was just getting started. And I went to put the pot on and, well, it's a little bit better now. And I would, I call that better because when I did, you can see what happened. This, the pot literally dropped right down inside of the stove. The pot stand just did not stay together, did not support the pot. And that's with 
500 mils of water or two cups of water in it. So it wasn't even like it was really heavy. It's empty now and you can see it's not supporting it even empty. <sighs> okay, so I let the fire go out. I waited till this cools down. Of course, with 2.2 ounces, the titanium is going to cool down very quickly anyway. It had taken the shape that it's in now, the panels did. But these poor pieces were literally twisted all over the place. Now those two pieces took the shape that they are expected to take, but these pieces are, this is like thin ribbon. This titanium is so thin, it's just impossible. It, it, it didn't take a solid shape, and even now it bends at the slightest touch. And therein lies my complaint. Not with this portion of the stove, but with the pot stand, the titanium being so thin that it just would not support the weight of a pot, a titanium pot at that, with two cups of water in it. And it very disappointing to say the least. So what did I do? Well, I contacted Lixata directly through their Facebook page. They have a, a mechanism for leaving them a message. So I contacted them, uh, no response, none whatsoever. They didn't even acknowledge that they received the message. I also went back through AliExpress, and of course AliExpress is a storefront for a number of other makers and, and uh, stores through, uh, Ch in China, so they said that they would pass my message on to the seller of this stove to me, and they did so, but again, no response whatsoever. And I gave them a few weeks just to respond for any kind of a response at all. And then I was left with no option but to share this with you, because I wanted to get the message out that as interesting and cool a design as this is well it's a popular design it's very successful when it's done in stainless steel by the maker the originator of this design the the uh, little bug junior stove i mean it's a you know a cool minimalist design it just doesn't work in this thin titanium and that is the problem it's no longer a functioning stove to use with these pot stands well okay twenty three dollars Canadian is not a lot of money but you don't like wasting money like that so I thought what could I do with this I was obviously not going to get any satisfaction from the company is is there any redeeming value left in this and yeah actually there is this is still an ultralight windscreen of a fairly solid nature. So I can use this with an alcohol stove, a gas stove, or any other stove that will fit down inside. And you can see it's quite a bit of room inside of it. But I have no way of supporting a pot on top of it. But it occurred to me, skewers. As you know, I've used them in so many of the other projects that these skewers always seem to come in handy. And I've always got extras laying around. Now these aren't quite as short as they should be for this, but you'll, you'll see what I mean. Now, those original little slots intended for the tabs of the original pot stand are ideal for running these skewers through on both sides. I squeeze it a little bit just to make it line up a little bit better. And there are my skewers running through this. Now, this pot will still sit on top fully support it. Anything smaller and you run the risk of it falling between the two skewers, but there is a fix for that as well. But now I've got a functioning windscreen that I put an alcohol stove in. I guess I could still use this as a wood stove. Uh, I don't like the thin nature of this titanium, so I probably will only do that if I if I am not allowed to have a fire or or excuse me, if I'm allowed to have a fire. But likely, more often than not, I'll end up using this as a windscreen for an alcohol or a gas stove. So there is one other thing I've found I could do with this. Now, I guess I could punch a few more holes, bring the two skewers closer together for smaller pots. But for whatever reason, there is another little hole right here. That, well, there's three of them down there. I don't know why they're included on this. But what I can do with it is run the two skewers through that one hole in a V formation. Oops, of course, now they're a lot looser. In a V formation. All right, let me grab that off the floor. All right, again, run the two skewers through in a V formation like that. And now an, an even smaller pot, right down to a GSI uh, cup or one of the other small cups or even the adventure Stanley adventure will sit on top of this a little towards the side But it's close enough now that it'll hold the pots up so I can still use this with smaller pots I don't know. It's unfortunate. I'm I was disappointed with this. You know, I did have the other Lixada 
I call it the Little Bug Inspired Stove, and, and it comes with four panels. It's made of thin stainless steel, but it's withstood a number of fires. It also did take a, a shape for each of the panels. Packs down nicely. I still use it as a windscreen and as a wood stove. And, uh, you know, it's not much heavier than this is, but uh, that one was fine. This one is not. It is just not worth investing your money in. And that's pretty much it. Okay, one last thing before I close off is I wanted to show you the rivets on this so that how it, go, how it goes together. So give me a second to reposition the camera. All right, all I did is just pan in a little closer so that you could see the, the rivets and the holes. So see if I can't do this. So this is the panel that has the tabs on it with a little hole. Same on both sides of that panel. Or sorry, one side has a, a, a tab and a, a hole and the other side has the recess and rivet right here. So when you go to put these together, you just literally take them like this, lines up with the hole with the rivet, pinch the other side in, lines up. You know, in theory, it's a very functional way of doing this. It does work, but not with these pot stands. It's flimsy, bendable, won't hold the weight of a pot of water. All right, let's wrap this video up. Do you know, it's not often that I'm critical about uh, a product that I have. I can usually find something of value to say about it. And yeah, I suppose uh, the value I found in this is that it still works as a, as a windscreen, but that's an expensive windscreen. Doesn't matter that it's made of titanium. It's still rather expensive, especially at $23, especially when I can make something just as functional out of a piece of a aluminum uh, pie pan or, or one of those aluminum aluminum sheets that goes in an oven. They work just as well as this, but now that I've got it, I've got to use it for something, and that's what it's going to be as a windscreen. Okay, that's all I have. I'm interested in knowing if you possibly have purchased one of these, if you had a similar experience, or if you ever got any, if you have had that experience, did you have any satisfaction in getting your money back or any response out of the company? I have a lot of Luxata stoves. For the most part, I'm happy with them. They're not extremely high quality, but they're very functional and they're a good value. This one has been the exception to, that I have so far. All right, that's all I have. Until I see you again, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.